Lilo and Stitch is an animated series that has captured the hearts of many kids from the early 2000s. The franchise not only has its own animated series, but also comprises several movies that are essential to the plot. Before we begin, let's set some context. The story is set in the lush and beautiful Hawaiian islands and revolves around a young girl named Lilo Pelikai and a genetically engineered alien creature named Experiment 626. Lilo is a lonely and misunderstood girl who adopts Stitch, thinking he is a dog after finding him in an animal shelter. However, Stitch is actually a highly destructive and nearly indestructible creature capable of chaos and destruction. Now let's start with the first movie Lilo and Stitch, 2002. Jumba Drikiba faces consequences for his illegal genetic experimentation in creating Experiment 626, a chaotic yet highly intelligent creature. Arrested and put on trial by the Galactic Federation, Jumba is imprisoned while 626 is sentenced to exile on a desert asteroid due to its propensity for causing trouble. However, 626, determined to escape, manages to hijack a spaceship and accidentally set a course for Earth when the hyperdrive malfunctions. Crash landing on the Hawaiian island of Kauai, Experiment 626 is knocked unconscious by passing trucks and ends up in an animal shelter. The Grand Councilwoman, concerned about the potential chaos 626 could cause on Earth, dispatches Jumba and Agent Pleakley to the planet with orders to discreetly capture the experiment. On the Hawaiian island of Kauai, Nani finds herself facing the challenging task of caring for her younger sister, Lilo, who has been struggling with loneliness following the tragic death of their parents. Social worker Cobra Bubbles becomes increasingly concerned about Nani's ability to provide proper care for Lilo. In an attempt to bring joy and companionship into Lilo's life, Nani agrees to let her adopt a dog. During a visit to the shelter, Lilo becomes captivated by Experiment 626, a creature disguised as a dog to escape captivity. Against Nani's initial reservations, Lilo names the peculiar creature Stitch and decides to adopt him. Lilo introduces Stitch to the unique beauty of the Hawaiian island, showing him around and forming an unexpected bond. During dinner at the restaurant where Nani is employed, Jumba and Pleakley make a botched attempt to capture Stitch, resulting in chaos that leads to Nani losing her job. The next day, Cobra, the social worker, warns Nani that if she doesn't secure another job soon, he will have to consider placing Lilo in foster care. While Nani struggles to find new employment, Lilo attempts to educate Stitch about Elvis Presley, whom she considers a model citizen. Unfortunately, Stitch's mischievous behavior combined with his efforts to evade Jumba and Pleakley only exacerbates Nani's challenges in finding a job and maintaining stability for her family. Nani's friend David suggests a day of surfing to help Nani relax. While Nani, Lilo, and Stitch ride a massive wave, Jumba attempts a final underwater capture of Stitch. This results in Nani wiping out and Stitch inadvertently pulls Lilo underwater with him. Despite everyone making it safely to shore, Cobra witnesses the incident and informs Nani that despite her good intentions, Lilo will need to be taken away. Overwhelmed by the realization of how much trouble he has caused, Stitch runs away, grappling with the consequences of his actions and the potential separation of the sisters. The following day, the Grand Councilwoman resigns the task of capturing Stitch to the more forceful Captain Gantu, releasing Jumba and Pleakley from their mission. Jumba seizes the opportunity to pursue Stitch more openly. Simultaneously, David informs Nani of a job opening, prompting her to rush to the opportunity. Meanwhile, Stitch, hiding in the woods, encounters Jumba, leading to a confrontation that results in an explosive incident at Lilo and Nani's house. Amidst the chaos, Komra arrives to collect Lilo, but she runs away and encounters Stitch, who reveals his extraterrestrial identity just before Captain Gantu captures them both. Stitch manages to escape, confronting Nani. As Jumba and Pleakley capture Stitch, Nani pleads for their help in rescuing Lilo. Faced with Nani's despair, Stitch invokes the concept of Ohana, emphasizing the importance of family he learned from Lilo. This resonates with Jumba, who agrees to help rescue Lilo. Joined by Pleakley, Stitch, and Nani, Jumba takes them on a chase through space in his spaceship. The group ultimately succeeds in rescuing Lilo. Back on Earth, the Grand Councilwoman arrives, prepared to take Stitch into custody and retire Gantu for kidnapping Lilo. However, Lilo insists that as Stitch is her pet under local law, he cannot be taken away. Touched by Stitch's transformation and newfound civility, the Councilwoman decrees that Stitch will live in exile on Earth and trust it into the care of Lilo and Nani. She also asks Cobra, revealed to be a former CIA agent she met in 1973, to watch over them. As they rebuild their house, Jumba and Pleakley become integral members of Lilo and Stitch's family. The film concludes with various footage and pictures capturing moments of Stitch's life with his new family, emphasizing the bonds of love, acceptance, and belonging that have formed between them. 
Next up in the franchise, we have Stitch, the movie. The film opens with ex-Captain Gantu now equipped with a new spaceship, receiving orders from Dr. Jock von Hamsterveel to recapture the remaining 625 experiments. Simultaneously on Earth, Stitch is still struggling to fit in and inadvertently causes another calamity. In an attempt to uplift Stitch's spirits, Lilo compares him to Frankenstein, emphasizing his uniqueness. However, this comparison only adds to Stitch's feelings of alienation. Their tranquility is shattered when Gamtu crashes into their home, aiming to capture Stitch. In the ensuing chaos, Stitch tries to resist, but is eventually ensnared in a net. Gantu seizes a blue pod labeled 625 and abducts Jumba for interrogation. To rescue her friend and thwart Gantu's plans, Lelo and Stitch commandeer Jumba's spaceship and engage Gantu in a space battle. Despite their valiant efforts, they are defeated and sent hurtling back to Earth. Back at their home, Lilo, Stitch, and Pleakley stumble upon the container Jumba was concealing. To their realization, the container contains the other 625 experiments, all in a dehydrated state. Pleakley urgently warns them not to reveal the existence of the experiments or introduce them to water. However, deliberately defying Pleakley's instructions, Lilo and Stitch decide to hydrate Experiment 221, who promptly escapes. Meanwhile, Jumba remains captive on Dr. Hamsterville's spaceship. To coerce information out of Jumba, Hamsterville activates Experiment 625, which was strangely in his possession. Experiment 625 possesses all of Stitch's powers, but despite having formidable abilities, it turns out to be lazy, cowardly, and more interested in making sandwiches than engaging in combat. This unexpected turn of events proves to be Jumba's advantage. Meanwhile, Pleakley successfully establishes contact with Hamsterville's ship using a telephone. In a conversation between Pleakley and Hamsterville, the latter conveys his demand for a ransom, specifically the other 624 experiments, in exchange for Jumba's release. When Pleakley relays this information to the rest of the family, Nanny takes action by contacting Cobra Bubbles. Simultaneously, Lilo and Stitch embark on a mission to locate Experiment 221. As Cobra arrives the following morning, he appears to be already informed about the situation. While Lilo and Stitch manage to apprehend Experiment 221 at a hotel, Pleakley and Cobra prepare to fulfill Hamsterville's ransom demand. At the rendezvous point, Pleakley and Cobra present the container, unaware that it contains only 623 experiments. Upon receiving the container, Hamsterville is dismayed to discover that one experiment is missing. Lila then arrives, holding Experiment 221, whom she has affectionately named Sparky, emphasizing that Sparky is now part of her Ohana alongside Stitch. In response, Hamsterville threatens to harm Jumba unless Lila hands over Sparky. Simultaneously, Pleakley manages to establish communication with Hamsterville's ship through a telephone connection. Hamsterville informs Pleakley of his demand a ransom involving the remaining 624 experiments in exchange for Jumba's release. Once Pleakley shares this information with the other family members, Nani contacts Cobra Bubbles, while Lilo and Stitch set out to locate Experiment 221. When Cobra arrives the following morning, he appears to be already aware of the situation. Meanwhile, Lilo and Stitch successfully apprehend Experiment 221, who had been causing trouble at a hotel. As the scheduled rendezvous time approaches, Pleakley and Cobra arrive with the container, unaware that it contains only 623 experiments. Hamsterville is taken aback when he discovers one is missing. At this moment, Lilo arrives with Experiment 221, affectionately named Sparky. She declares that Sparky is now part of her and stitches Ohana. In response, Hamsterville demands that she hand over the experiment, threatening to shoot Jumbut if she refuses. After a delivery of moment influenced by the voices of Cobra, Pleakley, Jumba, and Hamsterville, Lilo, and Stitch make a decision. They release Sparky and free Jumba from his restraints. Following Cobra's signal, the Grand Councilwoman's ship emerges from the nearby ocean, its cannons pointed at Hamsterville. Lilo protests, asserting that Hamsterville possesses the other experiments, a fact overheard by Sparky. Sparky uses his electrical powers to disrupt the power on the Councilwoman's ship. Taking advantage of the chaos, Hamsterville and Gantu return to their own ship with the experiments. Lilo, Stitch, and Sparky stow away on Hamsterville's ship as it departs. Once on board, Lilo and Stitch manage to seize the container with the other experiments. A struggle for the container between Lilo, Stitch, and Gantu results in the release of the dehydrated pods, scattering them throughout Hawaii. Having captured the heroes, Hamsterville reveals his plan to clone Stitch a thousand times. He orders Gantu to handle Lilo, and Gantu prepares to send her to an intergalactic zoo using a teleportation pod. Meanwhile, Stitch is restrained with a weight just beyond his lifting capacity. 
As Stitch desperately avoids the impending laser for the cloning process, Sparky demonstrates his reformation by causing the cloning machine to short-circuit. He frees Stitch, and together, they restrain Hamsterveil to the device before rescuing Lilo. With Hamsterveil handcuffed, the trio short-circuits Gantu's ship, causing it to crash near a waterfall on Kauai, humiliating Gantu. Returning Hamsterveil's ship to the rendezvous point, they find a new home for Sparky, powering the Kilauea lighthouse, which hasn't been operational for years due to high costs. They then persuade the Grand Councilwoman to allow them to rehabilitate the other 623 experiments, which will become the plot focus of the series. The Councilwoman arrests Hamsterveil and Jumba, discreetly inform Pleakley of his plans for Experiment 627. The movie concludes with the activation of experiments 202, 529, 455, 489, and 390, setting the stage for the series. Meanwhile, Jumba and Pleakley hope to go home with the Grand Councilwoman this time, but they are left stranded once again. In Lilo and Stitch, the series Lilo and Stitch, assisted by Jumba and Pleakley, go on a mission to locate and rehabilitate Jumba's remaining experiments, turning them from mischievous to well-behaved. Meanwhile, the bumbling Gantu experiment 625, under orders from Dr. Hamsterveil, strive to capture the experiments for their own agenda. In a first episode, Richter, the island experiences earthquakes caused by experiment 513, prompting Lilo, Stitch, Jumba, and Pleakley to intervene. Gantu is tasked by Dr. Hamsterveil to capture the experiment, leading to a series of chaotic encounters. Lilo learns about 513's seismic abilities and armed with a gel pack to immobilize the experiment, tries to prevent him from causing further destruction. However, Gantu captures 513 and the duo must rescue him to prevent an impending disaster. In a race against time, they confront Gantu and Stitch faces a dilemma between saving Lilo or his cherished orange ball. Stitch ultimately saves Lilo, and with the help of Experiment 513 named Richter, they create a counterforce to stop the earthquakes and save the island. Richter finds his one true place at the beach shack, serving as the new milkshake mixer. In the episode Phantasmo, after a visit to Maki Makaw's restaurant, Lilo and Stitch accidentally activate Experiment 375, which has the ability to phase through objects. Mistakenly thinking Stitch is causing mischief, Manning reprimands him and orders him to stay outside. Experiment 375 wreaks havoc by possessing various items, creating chaos in the house. Lilo, still trusting Stitch, conducts a makeshift trial to prove his innocence. However, it becomes evident that a new experiment is behind the trouble. They discover Experiment 375's penchant for attention and showcase his talents at Makimakaz, where he becomes the center of attraction, putting an end to the chaos. In the episode clip, Lilo attempts to teach Stitch about fitting in on Earth by taking him to a spa where chaos ensues when Stitch tries to eat mud. The duo soon discovers Experiment 177, named Clip, causing havoc by eating people's hair and giving bad haircuts. As Lilo tries to find Clip's one true place, they mistakenly unleash her on Myrtle, resulting in comedic consequences. Gantu tries to capture Clip, but the experiment grows larger and becomes a hairball menace. Ultimately, they use conditioner to calm Clip down and she finds her true calling by giving people stylish haircuts at a salon. In Mr. Stenchy, Lilo and Stitch rescue an experiment named Mr. Stenchy, who appears irresistibly cute, but is designed to release a noxious odor 42 hours after activation. Lilo decides to keep him temporarily, leading to jealousy from Stitch. Gantu attempts to capture Mr. Stenchy, and in a series of humorous events, Stitch accidentally allows Gantu to take the experiment. Feeling guilty, Stitch plans a rescue mission. Eventually, Mr. Stenchy is torn between Lilo and Gantu, and despite Gantu's attempt to keep him, Mr. Stenchy's odor activates, prompting Lilo and her friends to take him back. In the end, Mr. Stenchy finds his one true place on planet Plorganar, where a Plorganarian couple appreciates both his cuteness and unique smell. In this Halloween-themed episode, Spooky, Lilo attends a costume party at the Hula School dressed as a dead Hula girl with an axe headband. However, her scary costume results in her being sent home by Moses, who suggests she return as a princess like her rival Myrtle and her friends. At home, Manny prepares for trick or treaters, while Pleakley and Jumba struggle to decide on costumes. Lilo asks Pleakley to make her a princess costume, and during the wait, she shares her fears with Stitch, including broccoli, clowns, and an old abandoned house. At the party, a shape-shifting blob with green eyes terrifies everyone, causing chaos. Lilo and Stitch return home to discover its Experiment 300, designed to transform into people's worst fears. The duo, along with Jumba and Pleakley, embark on a mission to capture Experiment 300, nicknamed Spooky, 
lit into a spooky encounter in the feared abandoned house. Overcoming their fears, Lilo and Stitch successfully capture Spooky, who finds his one true place scaring trick or treaters on Halloween and haunting the old abandoned house. In the episode Cannonball, a bird accidentally flings an experiment pod into a lake, activating Experiment 520, also known as Cannonball. The experiment's ability to create massive waves becomes a threat when it heads toward the beach. Meanwhile, Lilo, upset over losing a sand sculpting contest, is cheered up by Nanny, David, and Stitch, who sneak into a hotel pool. Gantu appears, chasing Cannonball, leading to chaos with giant waves. Lilo and Stitch, with Jumba's help, pursue Cannonball, using Jumba's ex-buggy. Gantu interferes, but Stitch ultimately saves the day and Cannonball's ability is redirected harmlessly. The episode ends with Cannonball finding his one true place, creating waves for surfers at the beach and Gantu unexpectedly ending up in San Francisco. In the episode Yapper, Lilo and Stitch enter a junior dog show to compete against Myrtle and her dog, Gigi. Stitch's behavior is affected by Kona Coffee, making him uncontrollable. Despite the challenges, they participate in agility, retrieving, and best-in-breed competitions. Gantu, tracking an activated experiment, interferes during the dog show. Myrtle's dog, Gigi, is revealed to be Experiment 007. Stitch, fueled by more coffee, thwarts Gantu and saves Gigi. In a surprising twist, Myrtle decides that Gigi belongs with her and Lilo realizes the experiment found its true place. In the episode Yin Yang, two experiments activate simultaneously. Lilo and Stitch caught up in an argument decide to individually capture each experiment to prove their abilities. Concurrently, Jumba and Pleakly bet on who can capture an experiment first. Gantu enlists Rubin, also called Experiment 625, to help him catch both experiments. Jumbo warns that if the two experiments touch, they will destroy Earth. As the chaos unfolds, Lilo and Stitch eventually join forces to capture the experiments using tools provided by Jumba and Pleakly. The bet between Jumba and Pleakly ends in a tie, resulting in both dancing the Glocknar for 1,000 hours. Honestly, it was a sight to see. Lila names the experiments Yin and Yang and reproposes them to create a new island. In the episode Kix, experiment 601 named Kix is activated when a Taurus water bottle trickles over his pod. Mistaking the Taurus for wild pigs, Kix attacks them and later goes on a rampage, beating up various tourists. When Lilo and Stitch attempt to capture him, Stitch struggles due to a memory or rasher incident. To prepare for a rematch, Lilo tutors Stitch using combat training books and they engage in a prolonged battle with Kix. Eventually, Stitch, with improved coordination, defeats Kix, who finds his one true place teaching kickboxing. Gantu, inspired by a workout video featuring Kix, decides to learn kickboxing himself after being pummeled by the experiment. In the episode Splotty Head, the characters go on a mission to capture Splotty Head, a plasma shooting experiment, leading them to the island of Nai Hao. Stranded on the beach, the opposing teams are forced to unite as a tribe to survive. Initially facing leadership conflicts with both Gantu and Stitch vying for the role, Lilo takes charge and the group successfully works together to disable Splotty Head's powers, forcing him to flee. However, the experiment is ultimately captured when Gantu and Stitch join forces against him. As Gantu secures Splotty Head, David and Nani arrive to rescue the others, agreeing to help Gantu and Ruben back to shore in exchange for the experiment's release. Reluctantly, Gantu agrees to the terms, handing over Splotty Head to ensure everyone's safe return. In the episode Amnesio, it's Lilo's birthday, but no one remembers, and she and Stitch are on a quest to distribute invitations for their party. Their plans take an unexpected turn when they encounter Gantu and an experiment named Amnesio, causing all three of them to lose their memories. Lilo and Gantu, now named Martha and Lenny, unwittingly team up, believing Stitch to be an escaped convict. Lilo and Stitch eventually discover how to reverse Amnesio's effects, but Gantu, unwilling to regain his memories, sets the experiment free. Despite initial reservations, Lilo, Stitch, and Gantu unite to recapture Amnesio, leading to the restoration of their memories. However, Gantu, who had captured Amnesio, cunningly uses the experiment to erase Hamsterville's memory, fabricating a story about how he captured a criminal named Doofus, which is actually Amnesio. In the episode Fibber, Lilo and Stitch encounter Experiment 032, a lie detector named Fibber. Unsettled by Fibber's constant truth-revealing buzzing, Lilo decides to leave the experiment in Stitch's care. Meanwhile, Pleakley faces the dilemma of an impending arranged marriage orchestrated by his eager mother. Lilo suggests Manny pretend to be Pleakley's fiancé, but complications arise when Pleakley's family arrives. Despite a comical wedding ceremony with Jumma posing as Pleakley's spouse, the truth about Fibber's nature is exposed. 
Fibber ends up in Gantu's hands, creating chaos as his truth-telling abilities reveal the hidden feelings of Pleakley's family. Eventually, Fibber befriends Experiment 625 and Pleakley embraces his single status. In the episode Tank, Experiment 586 creates chaos by devouring metal and growing to a colossal size. As Gantu attempts to capture the giant experiment, Lilo wins tickets to the Elizabethan Fair, but neglects Stitch's warning about the rampage. Stitch teams up with Myrtle to stop Tank, and after a series of events, they end up aboard Gantu's ship. Utilizing Myrtle's persuasion skills, Experiment 625, named Reuben, inadvertently helps them escape. Lilo, seeking Gantu's assistance, convinces him to use his ship's tractor beam to lift Tank away from Stitch. In the end, Tank is presumably sent back to Gantu after being shrunk by Hamsterveil. In the episode titled Sprout, Lilo discovers Experiment 509, designed to be an uncontrollable force of destruction. Despite Jumbo's warnings, Lilo activates the experiment, naming it Sprout, with plans to enter it into the Kokawa Town Fair to compete against Myrtle. However, Sprout grows out of control and takes over the fair, forcing Lilo and Stitch to find a solution. Realizing that Sprout's roots are the key, they contain the original Sprout in a water tower, preventing the spread of the forest. Despite the chaos, Lilo learns a valuable lesson about responsibility and sportsmanship, deciding to give her blue ribbon to Myrtle and looking forward to future fair competitions. In the episode Yarp, Experiment 613 activates, causing chaos with destructive shockwaves. When Gantu tries to capture 613, Stitch interferes and ends up temporarily deafened by the experiment's sonic blast. Due to Stitch's sensitivity to the shockwaves, Pleakley is chosen to catch 613. After training and equipping Pleakley, the team tracks 613 to a cave. Using a decoy strategy, Stitch attracts Gantu's attention while Pleakley encounters 613. A cave and puts 613 in danger and Pleakley rescues him. Grateful, 613, now named Yarp, becomes friends with Pleakley. During a ransom exchange setup, Yarp helps expose Gantu's actions, and his one true place is found as an alien invasion alarm at Lilo's Hula School. In the episode, the asteroid Lilo and Stitch overhear Cobra Bubble's warning of an asteroid heading for Earth. Despite facing disbelief from others, they decide to take matters into their own hands. Stitch devises a plan to destroy the asteroid from outer space, but upon discovering it is home to an alien, they face a moral dilemma. The group ultimately decides to use Jumba's ship's hyperdrive to redirect the asteroid away from Earth, saving both the planet and the alien, but leaving Jumba and Pleakley stranded on Earth. As a result, Lilo and Stitch become honorary agents. In the episode Melty, Experiment 228 named Melty is activated when a dog accidentally drops its pod into a water bowl. Melty melts a house, causing chaos and scaring the dog away. Lilo and Stitch chase after Melty, leading to a capture using a metal chimney cap. Meanwhile, Lilo, feeling embarrassed, learns about Jumba's time-traveling surfboard and decides to change the past. Through various alternate timelines, Melty's fate varies, including being captured, causing disasters, and unknown outcomes. In the final timeline, Melty is captured and given a true place to burn metal at the aluminum recycling plant. In the episode Dupe, Experiment 344 named Dupe is captured by Lilo and Stitch after a pursuit by Gantu. Jumbun explains Dupe's cloning powers demonstrated by duplicating objects. Lilo attempts to use Dupe to create clones of herself for friendship but accidentally multiplies Stitch into three weak clones. Later, Gantu attacks the Pelikai residence, captures the weakened Stitch and his clones and creates weak replicas of other experiments using Dupe. Lilo, with the help of Pleakley clones, tricks Gantu and defeats the experiment replicas. Dupe re-emerges the Stitch clones and his one true place is found in making half-calorie shaved ice. In the episode Angel, Experiment 624 is activated and pretends to be good while secretly working for Hamsterveil to turn experiments evil. Lilo, Stitch, and Pleakley remain unaware of her true nature. Angel manipulates Stitch with her charm, causing chaos in town and turning experiments evil. Lilo discovers Angel's evil plan when she finds Hamsterveil's phone number on Angel's collar. Jumba reveals Angel's true function and Lilo, with Jumba's assistance, reverses the effects of Angel's song on him. However, Angel successfully turns other experiments evil and helps Hamsterveil in his plan to cause havoc in the Galactic Empire. Lilo, Jumba, and Pleakley race to stop Hamsterveil's spaceship launch. And in the end, Angel, realizing the impact on Stitch, turns against Hamsterveil to save Stitch. Gantu captures Angel, leaving Stitch and Lilo determined to rescue her in the future. In the episode Drowsy, Lilo's hectic schedule of chasing experiments causes her to neglect her responsibilities and face a serious talk from Nani. 
Stitch, worried about Lilo's well-being, activates Experiment 360, designed to induce near-permanent sleep in an attempt to force her to rest. However, 360's bleeding spreads, putting the entire population to sleep. Lilo, unaware of the chaos, continues her commitments with Stitch puppeteering her through various tasks. Meanwhile, Gantu, informed by Hamsterveil, plans to use 360 to kidnap what he believes to be Earth's most powerful human, Regis Philbin. Eventually, Lilo, Stitch, and Mr. Philbin thwart Gantu's kidnapping attempts, and at the end of a long day, everyone, including Lilo and Mr. Philbin, peacefully falls asleep. In the episode Spike, Experiment 319 named Spike is accidentally activated, causing chaos with his goofiness-inducing spines. Initially spiking Dr. Okra and her servant during a public event, Spike continues his antics by attacking the audience and wreaking havoc in a museum. Stitch captures him, but not before being affected himself. Back at the Pelikai residence, Spike becomes part of Pleakley's Eeyore and Duyak's group for rehabilitation. During Pleakley's seminar, Spike is inadvertently released and causes more chaos. Pleakley, using makeshift armor, employs hugging therapy on Spike, successfully calming him down. The other experiments also benefit from this approach. At the Ohanarama quiz contest, Spike helps Lilo uncover cheating, leading to her victory. Spike's unique hugging therapy becomes instrumental in the rehabilitation of other experiments, and he finds his one true place in Pleakley's E.R. Dobeax group, offering his services to tame truant experiments with protective armor to prevent further goofiness. In this humorous episode, French Free, Lilo and Stitch rebel against Nanny's attempts to make them eat healthier meals and decide to go on a hunger strike. Nani, fed up with their refusal to eat nutritious food, bans all junk food in the house. Desperate to enjoy their favorite unhealthy treats, they activate Experiment 062 in French Free, designed to prepare delectable and irresistible meals. However, they soon discover that French Free's creations have an unexpected side effect. They cause excessive weight gain. Despite their expanding waistlines, Lelo, Stitch, and Pleakley continue indulging in Frenchry's meals. As the trio grows fatter, the experiment reveals his true intention, to fatten them up and eat them. A comical showdown ensues when Gantu, enticed by Frenchry's birthday cake, also falls victim to the weight-gaining effect. Nanny arrives just in time to rescue Lilo, Stitch, and Pleakley, defeating Frenchry and returning them to their normal sizes. In the end, Frenchry vows to make healthy meals and forsake his desire to eat people. In the episode Swapper, Lilo attempts to befriend a new girl named Victoria, much to Myrtle's dismay. Myrtle, determined to sabotage the budding friendship, tries to befriend Victoria herself. To prove that she's normal and gain Victoria's friendship, Lilo decides to throw a Lilo's Not Weird party. However, chaos ensues when Experiment 355, also known as Swapper, activates and switches the minds of Lilo, Stitch, Jumba, and Pleakley. Now in Shiver's bodies, Lilo must navigate her normal party from Stitch's perspective, while Stitch struggles to behave like Lilo. The situation becomes even more chaotic with the arrival of Hamsterveil, who has swapped bodies with Gantu. Despite the challenges, Swapper is eventually defeated, and everyone's minds are restored to their original bodies. In a heartwarming twist, Victoria reveals that she enjoyed the unconventional party, appreciates Lilo's uniqueness, and becomes Lilo's new best friend, marking a significant moment as Lilo's first human friend. In the episode Checkers, Lilo and Stitch find themselves grounded after wreaking havoc in the house while playing with their experiment friends. Meanwhile, Gantu is on a mission to capture Experiment 029, a creature with the power to crown people, giving them control over all living creatures. Lilo and Stitch intercept the experiment named Checkers, and inadvertently, Lilo becomes queen under his hypnotic influence. Enjoying her newfound authority, Lilo begins to rule over her subjects, but the situation takes a turn when Gantu seizes control by placing checkers on his head. Stitch, 625, and team of experiments join forces to overthrow King Gantu and rescue Lilo from his rule. The rebellion results in Gantu being ousted and Lilo, along with her experiment allies, helps rebuild the parade float. The episode concludes with a twist as Nani is crowned Coconut Queen, and Gantu faces the consequences of his failed attempt at power. In the episode Plute, Lilo endeavors to clean Pudge's grotto but encounters a mischievous experiment named Plute that not only devours trash, but also spreads it across the island in the form of pollutant goo. The situation escalates when Stitch falls ill from consuming garbage, prompting Jumba and Pleakley to find a cure for him. While the duo works on Stitch's remedy, Lilo takes it upon herself to stop Plute. Initially attempting to enlist the help of other experiments including Kix, Deforestator, Richter, Finder, Babyfear, and Drowsy, Lilo finds that Plute is too formidable for them. Eventually, with Stitch cured, Pleakley devises a plan involving air fresheners to neutralize Plute. 
Together with Stitch, Lilo successfully defeats Plut, who undergoes a positive transformation, choosing to clean up trash and pollution instead of causing it. In the episode Snooty, Experiment 277, known as Snooty, is activated when its pod gets wet in a car wash and develops a strong attraction to nasal mucus. Mistaking Victoria, who suffers from allergies, for a potential source of mucus, Snooty relentlessly pursues her, causing chaos and prompting Lilo and Stitch to protect Victoria from the experiment. Despite Gantu's attempts to capture Snooty, the duo successfully thwarts his efforts. As the situation unfolds, Stitch challenges Snooty, resulting in the experiment draining a significant amount of mucus from Stitch, temporarily weakening him. Jumba later reveals that mucus has a composition similar to Smutonium, explaining Snooty's behavior. In a twist, Victoria, determined to eliminate Snooty, teams up with Gantu. Together, they confront Snooty in the Hawaiian Mountains, where Gantu uses Victoria as bait to draw out the experiment. When Gantu's intentions are revealed to her, she saves Snooty and keeps him a pet. In this crossover episode between Lilo and Stitch and Kim Possible titled Rufus, Stitch is abducted by an aircraft, prompting Lilo to embark on a mission to rescue him. Jumba and Pleakley suggest seeking the help of Kim Possible, a skilled secret agent. Lilo, initially resistant to the idea, reluctantly agrees to contact Kim for assistance. When Kim, along with Ron Stoppable and Rufus, arrives, Lilo tries to assert her independence but ultimately teams up with Kim to save Stitch from Dr. Draken and Shigo's cloning plan. Jumba mistakenly believes Rufus is Experiment 607, leading to amusing encounters. The combined efforts of Lilo, Kim, and their friends lead to the successful rescue of Stitch, with the adventure concluding with a lively hula dance. On the anniversary of their parents' passing, Lilo and Nanny struggle with sadness. However, their somber day takes an unexpected turn when Experiment 276, designed to invade dreams and turn them into nightmares, activates. Jumba, Pleakley, and Stitch embark on a mission to enter Lilo's dream using a nuclear-powered spatula teleportation device. Inside Lilo's dream, they face challenges as Experiment 276 wreaks havoc, turning her dreams into nightmares. With the assistance of a dream dental floss rope, they reach a door leading to another dream layer. In the dream school, Lilo envisions a harmonious world, but 276 disrupt it, turning dreams into nightmares. As Nani tries to wake Lilo, Pleakley returns with a family picture, sparking happy memories and transforming the nightmarish dream into a serene beach picnic. The experiment is captured, reprogrammed, and finds its one true place as a virtual reality game. The episode concludes with Lilo, Stitch, Nani, and David enjoying a picnic on the beach. Remy. In the episode, Ace, the leader of the Eagle Genius organization, EGO, suspects that Jumba has turned good and considers revoking his membership. To prove Jumba's continued worthiness, Lilo and Stitch orchestrate an elaborate facade, creating a scenario to trick the EGO leader during his visit to Earth. Meanwhile, a non-evil experiment, 262, Ace, is activated. This experiment showcases heroic actions by rescuing a kitten from a burning house using a makeshift parachute and extinguishing the fire. Named Ace, he finds his one true place as a local do-gooder. However, the EGO leader sees footage of Ace's heroic deeds, leading to the revocation of Jumba's membership. Despite this setback, Lilo, Nani, Stitch, Jumba, and Pleakley form their own club, with Ace as the newest member to balance out Jumba's potential for evil. In the episode Glitch, Experiment 223's pod ends up in a baseball pitching machine, and when used as a softball, it triggers the activation of the experiment. As Experiment 223 named Glitch, takes control of the lick o at the Pelikai's house, it causes chaos by throwing tomatoes at Pleakley. The experiment then enters the house's power lines, accessing and taking control of Jumba's technological inventions. Glitch proceeds to lock down the entire house, capturing the residents one by one. Jumba, Nani, and Pleakley each find themselves trapped in different areas of the house. In an attempt to reason with Glitch, Jumba is locked in the bedroom, while Nani and Pleakley are trapped in the attic and under the couch, respectively. The experiment targets Lilo and Stitch, using household items to create obstacles. However, the duo manages to download Glitch into Lilo's portable video game console, trapping him in his one true place and restoring order to the house. It is now time for the series finale link. While Lilo and Myrtle argue over a treasure map on the beach, Myrtle accidentally activates Experiment 251 by shoveling its pod into the tide. The experiment sticks Lilo and Myrtle together with a viscid substance, causing chaos. Jumba and Pleakley are also stuck together, and when Stitch attempts to help, he and Nani become glued as well. Nani reluctantly takes Stitch water skiing to resolve their dispute, resulting in a muddy accident that frees them. Stitch later separates Jumba and Pleakley with mud. Meanwhile, 
Experiment 251 named Link causes havoc by sticking arguing individuals together. Ganto gets involved, leading to a chase. Link eventually finds his one true place helping couples bond by assisting them in adventurous activities with his adhesive abilities. Now we are heading to the movie Lilo and Stitch 2. Stitch has a glitch. At the beginning of the movie, Stitch has a scary dream where he turns bad and causes trouble on Earth, even hurting Lilo. Lilo wakes him up and assures him that she knows he would never hurt her. To test his goodness, Lilo asks Stitch to do some good things. Realizing they're late for Hula class, they zip there using their hovercraft. During Hula class, Kumu announces that Lila and her classmates must get ready for the local May Day festival. Each student has to create their own dance. Lila gets inspired when Kumu shares that her mother won the festival at the same age and shows her a picture. After class, Myrtle insults Lilo, saying she'll never be like her mother, sparking a fight. While Stitch takes pictures of the brawl, he forgets to hide the evidence. Kumu thinks Lilo isn't ready for the competition because of the fight, but Lilo insists she's prepared and triple promises to behave. As Lelo and Stitch get ready for the competition, they struggle to come up with ideas. Nani suggests they take a break and enjoy a family fun night. During a 1950s sci-fi horror film, Them, Stitch's past troubles resurface and he goes berserk in the house. It turns out that after Stitch was created, Jumba couldn't fully charge his molecules due to being arrested by intergalactic police, causing a glitch. Initially, this glitch makes Stitch revert to his old destructive self, but it will eventually destroy him unless Jumba can create a fusion chamber before Stitch's energy runs out. Stitch's uncontrollable behavior creates a rift between him and Lalo, jeopardizing her chances at the Hula competition. Despite their efforts to find inspiration for their performance, Stitch keeps malfunctioning. Lalo, focused on winning the competition, fails to notice Stitch's glitch, thinking his new behavior is intentional and starts neglecting him. In the end, they create a Hula based on the legend of Hayaka, but Lilo gets increasingly frustrated with Stitch as he keeps messing up their practice sessions. Adding to the challenge, Jumba struggles to make the fusion chamber due to a lack of proper alien technology, resorting to using household objects. Just before the competition, Stitch shows up and wishes Lilo luck, and they reconcile as Jumba completes the fusion chamber. However, Stitch has another sudden outburst, accidentally scratching Lilo's face. Upset that he hurt her, Stitch, realizing he might be a danger, runs off, leaving Earth. During Lilo's performance, she notices Stitch's distress and runs off to find him, realizing something is wrong. Despite being in the middle of her competition, Lilo prioritizes helping Stitch. As Stitch tries to leave Earth, Lilo and the family desperately attempt to bring him back for recharging. During a takeoff, Stitch has another outburst, causing the spaceship to crash in the Hawaiian mountains. Lilo rushes to the crash site using the earlier hovercraft, finding Stitch near death. She hastily places him into Jumba's fusion chamber, but unfortunately, it's too late, and Lilo tearfully witnesses Stitch's passing. Taking him out of the chamber, Lilo holds onto him, expressing that while she kept saying she needed him, he needed her more. She calls him her Ohana and promises eternal love, breaking down in tears. Similar to the legend of Hayaka, Stitch is revived through the sincere love of his family. The family, along with David, then performs Lilo's hula dance together on the competition stage. Nani reassures Lilo that their mother would be proud, and a twinkling star in the sky seems to confirm it. Leroy and Stitch, and now it's time for the final addition to this franchise titled Leroy and Stitch. Having successfully captured and rehabilitated all 624 experiments on Earth, Lilo, Stitch, Jumba, and Pleakley are celebrated as heroes by the Galactic Alliance. In a grand ceremony at the High Council home base on planet Turo, they are recognized for their exceptional achievements. The confiscated key to Jumba's laboratory is returned, and Pleakley is offered the prestigious position of Chairman of Earth Studies at the Galactic Alliance Community College. Stitch is not only offered the role of Captain of the Galactic Armada, but also given command of the new flagship, the BRB-9000. Additionally, Lilo is appointed as the Galactic Federation Ambassador to Earth and entrusted as the sole guardian of Stitch's cousins. Before departing, Lilo presents Jumba with her favorite Elvis record, gives Pleakley a paperweight, and bestows upon Stitch a necklace, featuring a kutiki, representing the Hawaiian god of strength. In his spaceship, Gantu, feeling the weight of his failure in capturing all the experiments except for 625, decides to break Dr. Hamsterville out of prison. Taking a two-man space shuttle, he leaves 625 behind and assists Hamsterville in escaping. Stitch is then tasked with the mission to recapture Hamsterville. Bursting into Jumba's lab, Hamsterville and Gantu force Jumba to create an evil twin of Stitch to take on the Galactic Alliance, giving rise to the new experiment. Hamsterville attempts to name the experiment and settles on the name Leroy. 
Stitch confronts them, and after a fierce battle, he is defeated when Pleakley appears at an inconvenient moment, distracting Stitch long enough for Leroy to imprison him in a glass capsule. Hamsterville reveals his sinister plan to clone an army of Leroy's to seize control of the Galactic Alliance. Before departing for Turo, Hamsterville locks Jumba, Pleakley, and Stitch in Pleakley's ship, sending it into a black hole. Back on Earth, Lila decides to reach out to Stitch, realizing that the only intergalactic videophone on the planet is in Gantu's ship. She locates 625 and asks he use it. Initially, Ruben claims the videophone is broken but eventually agrees to help. Once the videophone is repaired, Lila contacts the BRB-9000. Leroy tries to impersonate Stitch using shape-shifting, but his lack of Stitch's distinctive tiki necklace gives him away. Hamster Vielen orders Leroy to go to Earth and capture all the other experiments for destruction. Sensing that Stitch is in trouble, Lilo seeks Ruben's assistance in fixing Gantu's ship. Meanwhile, as Jumbo, Pleakley, and Stitch head towards the black hole, Stitch manages to escape and free the others. However, the navigational computer is set to plunge them into the black hole, leading to a volcanic planet where they would be vaporized. To avoid this fate, they need to disrupt the event horizon by throwing a small object into the black hole. Pleakley presents the rock Lilo gave him, but Jumba deems it too heavy. Thinking on his feet, Stitch takes a bite out of the rock, crawls out the front of the vehicle, and hurls it at the black hole. A flash occurs, and the vehicle is drawn into the unknown. Back on Earth, a Lurie clone gets hold of Lilo's scrapbook containing pictures of her cousins, and swiftly captures all of them, including Myrtle. When Lilo and Reuben arrive at Turo, they discover they are too late. Amsterville has taken control, making the Grand Councilwoman his receptionist and ordering Gantu to imprison them. Though Gantu initially locks up Lilo and Ruben, he has a change of heart after Hamsterville fires him. Dodging numerous Leroy clones, they find themselves cornered. Their luck changes when the GAC van suddenly appears. Without time for explanations, Lilo, Ruben, and Gantu hop in and head for Earth. Back on Earth, the original Leroy has gathered all the experiments in a large stadium for Alohapalooza. The BRB-9000 appears, and Hamsterville prepares to obliterate the experiments. However, Lilo, Stitch, and the others arrive in the nick of time, destroying the BRB's primary cannon. Hamsterville reveals his Lairway army as backup, and a fierce battle ensues. Despite initial victories by the experiments, it becomes evident that the adversaries have the upper hand. Jumbo recalls a secret shutdown command program into Lairway, playing Elvis Presley's Aloha Oe will deactivate them. Stitch appears on stage in his Elvis attire, playing Aloha O with Lalo, Ruben, and several other experiments, causing the Leroy's to experience violent seizures and shut down. Foiling Hamsterville's plan once again, he is recaptured. Back at the Galactic Alliance HQ, Stitch, Jumba, and Pleakley are hailed as heroes of the Alliance. They express their desire to return to Earth with Lalo, a request granted by the Grand Councilwoman. Gantu is given the opportunity to be reinstated as the captain of the Armada, and he agrees on the condition that Ruben serves as his galley officer. Upon returning to Earth, Lilo prepares for one last picture. Myrtle arrives with Kyuji, who was revealed to talk during the battle, surprising Myrtle as one of Jumba's experiments. The final picture in the album captures all the experiments still on Earth, along with Myrtle, Jumba, Pleakley, Nani, David, and Lilo herself. Meanwhile, Hamsterville, Leroy, and all the clones, having recovered from their seizures, are sent back to prison. In a humorous twist, they're seen dancing to Jailhouse Rock. This was pretty much the entire franchise of Lilo and Stitch summed up in one video. So that will be it from us. If you enjoyed the video, then leave us a like and subscribe to our channel for similar content. Thanks for watching. We'll see you at the next one.